Welcome to Mornings with the Mayor. Boy, do we have a show for you today. We have two youngsters here. They're going to knock your socks off, but you're not going to be able to really get them knocked off until you go to the show. <laughs> and that's the show that's coming up at Ben Salem High School. And uh, that's on the 6th, 7th, and 8th, I believe, right? Yep. Right, Colin? Two on the 8th. On the 8th. And there'll be a, uh, a uh, matinee, matinee on one on of Matinee on Saturday uh, afternoon. Saturday. Well, let me introduce these uh, stars, the future stars, and future uh, probably will be getting a, uh, uh, as Barbara Streisand and Louis uh, <laughs> Armstrong got. Uh, Gosh, I to, hope so. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and, and, you know, really, Academy Awards was a big thing with this show. No suspense, you all know we're talking about Hello, Dolly. It's on right behind me on the screen, and it's a phenomenal show if you've never seen it. And uh, I got a feeling that you two uh, are going to do a much better job than they did in Hollywood. I just had that <laughs> Oh, theory. thank you. Uh, uh, on, to, my, uh, to my right is uh, Tori Le Le Leonard? Leonard, right? Yes. And uh, she's playing, guess who? Dolly, right? <laughs> Dolly yes. Levi. And... To my left, of course, is the other star of the show, which is Colin Taylor, uh, and he's Horace Vandergelder in the show. So these two youngsters are playing the lead roles, and I don't want you to think it's just two people in the show. This is a Ben Salem High School production, and I believe you told me 40 youngsters are in yeah. the show to take part in it. As always, they do a great job every year. But Hello, Dolly! is really a, an uplifting. I like that show. And, yes, uh, a lot of I, fun. It's got to be a lot of fun. It will take a lot of practice. I know you've been putting in a lot of time, both of you. Yeah, it's good And uh, I'm going to start with the lady. You okay with that? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> first. Story, tell me a little bit about, just not to show you're in today, but about Ben Salem, the drama classes, and how well, it leads to this. Ben Salem has always been very big on drama and the theater and performing, and it's a lot of fun, and it's a very... It's a very big family atmosphere. I feel like a big family. We're always there for each other. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. And uh, tell us about your uh, your part. It's a very leading part. Well, it's Dolly, <laughs> Dolly is essentially a matchmaker, and her goal in life is to find love for other people and to make like put other people together and make them happy. And throughout the show, she realizes that she wants to do the same for herself. She lost her husband, and she's ready to move on. So second act of the show is her kind of going towards that goal of finding love again for herself. And you succeed and you're in getting Keep it done? Keep the watch to find out. Oh, there, you go. <laughs> there you go. A perfect dolly. She wants to, uh, uh, to really, you got to go. You got to go. We're going to keep talking about that. But you're going to, and, and certainly to my left is uh, Colin Taylor and, and you have, you're the next leading part mm -hmm. in the show. And I'm tell Horace Vandergelder. Yeah, <laughs> tell us a little bit about, uh, again, let's go to the drama classes at Ben Salem High School, the importance of that, and then lead into Dolly. Well, drama's always been a pretty big part of my life, theater in general. I've been brought up through, since birth, really. Josh remembers me as a little kid being brought to Ben Salem when my dad and mom worked on the shows. But um, I have been in, this is my fourth show. Oh, I'm only junior, but it's still my fourth show because I was in eighth grade when I did my first one. And... Like Tori said, we're just a really big family. Everyone loves each other. I mean, there's there's drama and drama. That happens. <laughs> when it comes down to it, everybody loves each other. And uh, my part is <laughs> not like me. Very grumpy, very, I don't know, stern, I guess uh, you could say. Yeah. yeah. Um, all he really cares about is money. His wife dies, and his life basically just revolves around money and bossing his two workers around. And then Dolly comes into his life, and she tries to help him set up with something Don't else. tell them. They have to go oh, to the no, show. No. We're, We're not going to tell them. But well, she does try very hard. She tries very them. hard. Set me up with people. And, <laughs> and I know, Josh, when we were talking out there that he's involved in uh, doing the shows. He went, he went to school with Darren. Yep. Uh, so, uh, and our Darren here uh, at our studio, mm -hmm. you all know Darren. He, he runs our whole uh, TV studio mm -hmm. here. And I, I didn't know he was in drama class at that, but now I know every time he asks for a raise, he has tears in his eyes. <laughs> so, I guess, so I guess that's a drama end of it. Absolutely. Well, tell me, come on, give us some ideas of how excited you are about it. Oh, I'm thrilled. I love this show, and I mean, Barbara, who doesn't love Barbara, and she's always been one of my role models. I grew up with her. My mom played her around the house when I was a little kid, and when I found out we were doing this show, I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta do need it. to get this it. part. So put a lot of effort into my audition process for it, and I really wanted to nail it when I went in there because I really wanted it. And how, I'm many, still thrilled. Uh, how many uh, 
went for that part? Were there many auditions? I'm not sure. I'm a lot. <laughs> a lot of They don't tell you, huh? They no, don't tell you. You don't, yeah. you don't talk about girls, that. Most of the girls wanted that part. The dolly, yeah. Yeah. Based the show around her, so. And how about you? I actually, this was like my second option for the part, but I'm really glad that I got it. I originally auditioned for the other male lead, which is Cornelius Hackle, who works for Horace Vandegelder. And I auditioned, and it just happened that they, when I went to callbacks, I got callback for both, and I got Horace, and I'm... They could tell totally, you could be grumpy, right? Yeah, they I could tell you yeah. you could play a grumpy part. Yeah, last part. year I was a grumpy part, so I guess they said, well, <laughs> make, it, make it easy. Is that me. true? Is that part true? Which part? The last year he was grumpy, so this year he had to. He plays a good grumpy. <laughs> he got some you good do. grumpy. You make a great mayor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do this, and we're starting on the 6th. Yes. Right? Six. Yes. And Thursday what time, night. What time are the shows? Um, the show on Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday are at 7, and the matinee on Saturday is 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock on Saturday. It gives a great opportunity, that 1 o'clock show, for everybody to bring their kids, uh, the youngsters. $5 for matinee. Five, $5, $5 tickets. Five tickets for and, uh, what are they do normally on the nights? Uh, 7 for general admission. This is an easy show. Give me that flyer, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that he has that, Darren, who put that up there. Mm -hmm. But Those are all around Ben Sound. They should be. Yeah. That was yeah. our job, was well, to hang them it up. It was our job. We used to go and plaster and them, them everywhere. Well, that's get right. as much buzz as we can. If you want to be a star, that's what they do, right? Yeah, you got to promote. you got to promote. Absolutely. I, you tell me you want to be in culinary and, uh, and be, be a cook or, mm -hmm. or where, uh, whatever. Hopefully on Food Network sometime, eventually. Right. There you go. Yep. Well, you have to be out there promoting, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You might have to wait on tables. You might have to do all different Just things when you get there. there. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't not say that you were talking about being a therapist. And, yes, and, music therapist. And you graduate this year. I do. Okay. Yeah. And I'll just put a plug in. Don't forget to go for my scholarship fund. I oh, absolutely. A, I have a absolutely. scholarship fund. I hope all the kids uh, that are in high school go for that. We give them away every year. So uh, it's a good thing. Uh, okay. It, this will be on the screen, I'm sure, but I'll say it's $7 general admission. Yes. $10 for reserve seating. Uh, that's always a good idea, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and the matinee is uh, $5. Mm -hmm. And you all know where the high school is at. And uh, I, I, I think in the future of the high school, in, in, in this new renovations, they're going to actually uh, do the auditorium over there. It's supposed to be done first. This is what we're hearing from okay. the Rubers. It's going to get knocked down, and they're going to completely rebuild the auditorium. The... Um, for those of you who are familiar with the auditorium, the two back sections oh, where yeah. there is seating, they're going to be turned into classrooms right. and a new tech studio for the piano lab. And the other side is going to be a dance studio. So it's very exciting. Yeah, that's exciting. And uh, I know the chairs are very hard in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're yep. praying for, for padded seats. Man, <laughs> for an old man like me. <laughs> Trying to get cozy on those early Saturday rehearsals is very hard with those wooden chairs. I'm the only guy yeah. who would bring their overcoat on a day when it's 90 degrees so I can sit on my coat. Oh, yeah, you bring pillows and blankets <laughs> to put on the chair so you're more comfy. Well, but it certainly served its purpose there for many years, the high mm -hmm. school, the auditorium. And uh, we're looking forward to that, too. Uh, gosh, I'd like to see sometimes if we had our, you know, our summer concerts. Yeah. And there's when they get rained out of where they could be moved indoors mm -hmm. would be a great idea. We're, we're kind of starting to talk that over with the, yeah, that'd be great with the school district. Yeah, it would. I Especially mean, with could, this crazy weather we've been yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, oh we're not even no more snow. The we're <laughs> no not going to mention snow. 2014 and the weather. And part of 13. Uh, oh, it's been a bear. Our it really, night. especially with all, with our rehearsal schedule, like if it's snowing, you can't we can't get in the school, and then everything gets postponed. Yeah. No more snow. <laughs> no, we're... Hey, Bring the warm. <laughs> I'm with you guys. I'm with you. I hope that you're right. Uh, so when we get started, uh, I know you're coming to council on uh, Monday the 24th. Yes. To, and be presented with a proclamation of what's going on. So uh, have another opportunity, I'm sure, with the council meeting to say a little bit of what's going on. Did you get any instructions what you're doing at the council meeting yet? Not yet. Not no. yet? Okay. Well, we'll see you there. That's certainly Monday night, and I'll see you there. Uh, certainly, uh, I know we can all talk about this. Uh, Kevin, the youngster that Kevin has Grove. made national news, right? Kevin, Kevin Grove. And I've known Absolutely. Kevin for many years because every year I go down at St. Charles, they have all the kids, they play basketball there, that's mm -hmm. where they start. Actually, March is a, a Sunday, we give them out again, they all get trophies and all. Mm -hmm. And this youngster, and he has just captivated yeah, he's amazing. everyone. 
Oh, it's amazing. Oh, he's, a, he's amazing. Ma amazing thing that way it came out. And last night being down to Sixers. And it was all over Twitter, and people kept posting pictures of it, and yeah. it was just—it was so heartwarming to see. That. Oh Everybody's so happy for him. Every I'll other tell you post what. was like a famous person talking about him. Yeah. Every other post. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it, it's the good stuff that mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. that you love to see, and uh, and he's he's put us on the map, and so mm -hmm. he's. Uh, I woke up this morning and I turned my TV on, and I was like, "Whoa, Kevin's on ESPN again!" Yeah. <laughs> for the yeah. third time. It definitely was a bonding experience. I feel for like all of Ben yeah. Salem because everybody was promoting oh, him absolutely. before he even made it. To the yeah. 76ers and everything, everyone on Twitter, it was yeah. like hashtag. Nobody you know, ever thought that. Get him on all the yeah. sports. And you know, great. I mean, he's done it, and you know, he's been with the team for four years now. Every mm -hmm. year he's been manager. He's manager. With the team. And to see him, in, see him uh, in the league that I watched him in the last four or five, even before that play, just a great, heartwarming experience for all of us here in Ben Salem. And uh, guess what? That wasn't just drama. That was true life. Came to life, you know. You, <laughs> nobody had to act yeah. that way. Yeah. Out, right? that way. Isn't that great? I mean, and so uh, we're excited about that too. But we're really excited. And we're here today, and uh, we're talking about Hello Dolly and the show that's coming. And uh, I want you to just talk some. Give me some stuff. Come on, you're in high school. You're a senior. Yes. Yeah, and senior. you're in, with the drama. Mm-hmm. Drama Club, right? Yes, Drama call. Club. I try to be as involved as I can with not, like, without completely overstuffing my schedule. I need to be able to sleep and <laughs> have a little time to myself. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely very involved, and I love, I love music, and but I love. But it's not your first show. Oh no, this is this is my fourth show. Fourth I've been show. in all the shows since my freshman shows. year, starting with Into the Woods, and then we did Legally Blonde my sophomore year, and then we did Bye Bye Birdie last year. And I feel like Hello Dolly is a very, it's a good closer. Bye Bye Birdie was a good one. Too. Yes, a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So, uh, do you think you'll continue in uh, Oh, absolutely. Thing? Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. I love performing. It's just, it brings me such joy. And I love singing, and I love being able to share it with other people. And well, it's nice to be able to go on stage and pretend to be somebody else for an hour and a half. How do you two guys get along? I mean, you Awesome. Good. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Of okay. course. Well, I mean, you've got, you're there, you're rehearsing, you're... You yeah. know, did We've known each other since, well, I was in eighth grade, because I got brought up to do Into the Woods, and I met Tori, I met most of the people that we're working with now. And yeah, drama's always been a huge part of definitely my high school career. I mean, it's my top prior priority when it comes to that point in the year. I mean, I'm in a lot of other stuff. I got OTN, I'm president of my class, all that different stuff, but when it comes down to a drama club. Well, it's, that's pretty important stuff. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's at. <laughs> that's pretty, no, seriously, that's pretty important. Yeah, I try to be in as, as involved as possible, you know. Live the high school and, dream yeah, <laughs> and take advantage of the opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely, and you think that you might, you know, carry on afterwards. Definitely. I you mean, know, I just like entertaining. <laughs> every everybody thinks you have to be a movie star. A lot of people go into shows. There's shows all over. I oh, mean, absolutely. I mean, you might not be uh, Barbara Streisand. Hello, Donna. there's a lot of different theater opportunities oh, too. It's like is. singing's not your thing, and if you're more of an actor, then there's just plain acting right. that type of theater there's like the Shakespeare if you're one of those people and a lot of opportunities <laughs> all right tell me a little bit about our Ben Sam high school I'll go with you Tom tell us, tell us about the school? Just the no, I want to know what you're doing there and the opportunities in it and how they've helped you and We've got lots of opportunities I mean you just gotta really when it comes to high school especially at Ben Sam there's always something for you to do we say this all the time when we when we spoke to the upcoming freshmen last year we just told them to get involved I mean I have something. I never come home right after school. I'm at school until five never, every day. Even ever. if we don't have rehearsal, I have something that I have right? to be. And no, we don't go home. <laughs> we yeah. basically live at school. Well, Teachers like come thing. up to it us. It depends on what you're involved in too. Because if you have night, like for me, I'm in Feminaeus. So if we have rehearsal for the show until five thirty, and the Feminaeus at seven till nine thirty, we don't go home. So. Well, a lot of people get the wrong impression. You know, we don't hear about all the great stuff. Honestly, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. You always hear what's wrong if there is something. Oh, there's wrong. a lot of great stuff that goes oh, on. Oh, it's incredible. There's a lot of really wonderful, I've met a lot of really wonderful teachers there and a lot of wonderful people that I'm, I've met a lot of my best friends there and there's just a lot of good people and you never hear about that stuff and you it's a shame. Are great teachers, I mean, people are get, given the opportunity, you have to take advantage of it. I mean, you know, you can lead you to the, you can't make you drink. You yeah, people don't, people water. don't give Ben Salem enough credit oh, I as, agree. as a whole, mm -hmm. but especially at school, like, all you ever hear is the negative things, but if we didn't, if we weren't such a great school, that thing with Kevin, going back to that, that would never happen. Oh, of course not. And uh, these shows that you put yeah. on, 
these shows that you put on. They just don't happen. I mean, there's effort that goes effort. into it. Oh, so yeah. much effort that goes into yeah. it. And it doesn't all come together unless everybody's giving their all. And I feel like that's the really cool part about it is that when everybody is like, we really got to buckle down for this, it ends up turning out really well. Is there any secrets to the show? Did it take, you're not going to let them out, but I mean, is there some secrets? Like the show's going to be, you know, you yeah, can't tell them? Maybe. Maybe you have to come and see. Some, yeah, come there and you see go. the show. There you go, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Might be something there. Absolutely. All right. Of There's always so, something there. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you next to the last word. So you can, whatever uh -oh. you want to talk about, Hawk, how they should come. You should come. I mean, here, look at this right here. Boom. <laughs> see this. If you see this, you look at it, you read it, you got to come. Show up. It's going to be great. We don't disappoint ever. And you're going to get to say hello to everybody? Of course, I'll come out, you? sign some autographs. There you go. There you go. I like that. You know. Yeah. I like that. I might get yours today. Yours at Tory today. I will give you the last word. Oh, thank you. It really is going to be a great show, so everybody come out and show your support. And it's a great family show. Bring your kids, bring your grandma, bring your relatives, bring everybody. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And we will not disappoint, so come and see it. Well, both of you, uh, congratulations on the show that's coming. Thank you. Congratulations on the great work you do at, at school. It's important that you get your education and further your education. Absolutely. And uh, I can't, what do you want me to tell you? Please come and see the show. <laughs> I'll be there one of the nights. I don't know when, but I will be there. And there's also the show. matinee, too. For people who work at night, there's a matinee. It's not afternoon. a long show. It's definitely not a long show. It's no. Like yeah, it's one of the, the shorter couple ones. Years, it's that's been a like good point. How longer long shows? Or? Um, it's under two hours. Oh, definitely. Time, definitely. That's even with the the little intermission. intermission, with intermission stuff. Right. It'll still be under two hours. We haven't run it fully yet, but we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. If they don't give you reason for coming out to see the show, I don't know what the heck will. But uh, come out and support these these youngsters, young men and women. And uh, support them in what they're doing, and have a damn good time, <laughs> right? We're well, gonna, we're yes, gonna, well, this absolutely. is about having a good time, right? Mm -hmm. Always. All right. I'll see you guys there at the show. I'll see you Monday night. Yes. At the uh, council meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, till next time, everybody. God bless. <laughs>